I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is November 7th, 2019, and this video will be showing you a, a print I've been working on for a while. It's uh, for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. I have a 3D printed pumpkin I made. Okay, first, let me just show you where they are. I put them on Thingiverse. It happens to the uh, Anne Prusa. Uh, so it happens on Thingiverse, it happens to be thing 3903313. So you can go there and download it. And at Prusa, it's a 6064 slash pumpkin, but I think you just can use the 6064. I think that works too. Yeah. Uh, now on the Prusa one, because on Prusa now you can also upload the G code. I uploaded all the G code in two files. One that does eight pumpkin segments, because you can see there's eight segments here that go around. And the other file does all the rest, the stem and everything. But I'll go over that in a minute. So, uh, but first, ideas. So I have my, you know, idea book. So I wrote a bunch of ideas down here. I've been mulling this around in my head for a while uh, because Thanksgiving and Halloween was coming up and I thought it'd be cool to make a pumpkin. But I, I continue to like the idea of trying to design things in such a way that I don't need supports so I can print them in, some, in a certain way. And so I was thinking about making a jack-o'-lantern, which I haven't gotten to the jack-o'-lantern level yet. I just made a pumpkin. I was like, how do you do that? Because if you have the teeth in there and if you try to go up at different angles and how's that going to work? And so finally... Um, I came up with the idea uh, to create a segmented pumpkin. So the idea being that you have, you can see, uh, well, let me sh a, a couple of things. So you can see in this sketch, you see this little, this little line right here. So the idea was you create these segments and you'd stick them in the bottom and they'd be held at an angle. And then through compression, you'd pull them in and there'd be something that holds, hold them at the top. So their natural bend would be, they'd just actually be open. And then you'd pull them in and something would hold them on the top and it'd kind of be under tension. It would just all, all hold together like that. And so I had to go through a lot of design iteration. So I can probably show a couple of them here. So first I just want to start the idea. And I want to emphasize like when you're doing experimentation, go small so you can do quickly. So you can, you know, in, in the computer world, we talk about failing fast, you know, come up with little ideas, try them. And if they fail or, you know, Sometimes the idea is not clear. It's good to do a lot of, if you can do a lot of planning, you know what you're doing, fine. But sometimes you're not quite sure. And so sometimes it's nice to just put a couple of small prints out real quickly that don't cost much time or effort just to get the idea across. So with that in mind, some of my, this one I had to do like 10 iterations. So here I got this little tiny segment and I printed out a little tiny thin, probably really hard to see, a little tiny thin one. And I could hook it in here and I could bend it up. And so I did a couple like that and experimented with it. And I thought, oh, the idea seems sound where I could put it down here and it's got like a little actually bump on the end. So it'll actually kind of hook in there and stay. So I kept doing that. I made a couple of them. Uh, and then I even made a little, a thicker one. So I could experiment with that. Stuck them in here and you can see here, you know, naturally they bend out, but you do like that. And you get something on top that they hook into and they'll hold and they'll stay together like that. So that was the theory. But I went through many, many iterations. Uh, uh, one iteration I ended up making like a barrel. I finally got to the point where I could stick it together, but it ends up not the pumpkin shape, but it ends up kind of looking like a barrel. And so yeah, it worked really good. And the idea, since I wanted to do, uh, you can see in the 3D prints, the, let me get a segment here. These segments print flat on the board like this. Like they kind of go up like this. And so that's easy to print and they're circular shape. So went through a lot of ideas and it worked. So um, went through a lot of ideas. Anyway, so uh, there you go. So now let me just um, let me go over the details of this print. Well, I don't have my camera lady with me today, here today at the moment. I kind of want to get this video out and done. So bear with me as I try to show you this with this camera versus kind of showing things down. So first of all, there's the bottom section. So I'm going to assemble one together here and then go over the numbers like I normally do. So if you look at the print, there's a little bottom section. I don't know how well it's going to show up here, but it's segmented to make life easier. There's an eight segment, which is the one I'm using and using all the time. I like that one, but I also made it a six segment and a five segment in case someone likes a design where it's much more open. I don't know if I have one right now, but then there'd be more spaces in between. I didn't like them, so I, I stayed with the eight, but I made them and put them out there. So you, you have this. And then what you have is you have a stem for a top, just like that. Then you have a top piece, 
like this that prints out with a screw hole on there. And then you have a little tiny bolt. And I kind of put a little uh, notch on there so you can use a penny to thread it. The idea being I wanted to make sure I could print these all out flat with no support. So what you do is take this guy and you take this top piece and you put this thread on it. The skinny part of the thread goes in. This thread actually has two sizes, a, a fat side and a, sm a skinny side. Let me see if I can show that a little better. The small side goes in, thread it in there, and then you can take a penny, which I had one two seconds ago. Well, anyway. Uh, anyway, take a penny, get that thread on there pretty good, and then take the stem, and then thread the stem on, And now you got your top. Boom. So now you take your top and your bottom and you start to put this together. Now if you print all these segments out, you might notice you have to look really closely on it. There is a top and a bottom. The top is a little bit taller than the bottom. So, and I keep messing it up myself. So what you do, you stick this in an angle. It's, this is roughly about a 45 degree angle. So you got to stick it in at an angle and then it will lock in if you press it up. And then you do the opposite one. Again, making sure to have that little 45 degree angle. And there you go. And then you can press those two together, take the top and they hook underneath. And then boom, there you go. And then you work your way around. Take the next one, put it in at a 45 degree angle and then Kind of press it in, hook it in, and then just, you know, do it over. They are, they, it depends on the day. They can be a little sensitive, but for the most part, it's been working pretty good. You kind of get used to it. And then you put it all together. Can you tell I've done a couple of these? I think I've printed about 10 of them so far. And then boom, you got a pumpkin. And it works pretty well. Um, also, just to make uh, the colors. Colors could be pretty important on this. Now, before, let me go show you. Uh, the black, I don't think it matters so much, but I just want to show the orange I got, which turns out to be a pretty good orange for, uh, for a pumpkin. So I have this Hatchbox orange. I'll put a link in the show notes. It's on Amazon. You can get anywhere, it's about 20 bucks. And I think that's a really good or pumpkin-y orange. If you know of another good pumpkin-y orange, you know, just put a link in. But I like that one, so. Uh, other thing about it, you can go, I, um, usually when I'm doing threads, I don't like resizing because sometimes the threads get a little bit messed up. But so far, I've downsized this 50% and it works. It's a little bit more sensitive when you try to spring load it, so it's harder to put together at 50%, but you can. <laughs> um, but it worked. I also, because my wife requested it, I did a 300%, which is about as big as I can go on a Prusa. And it's pretty cool. It is pretty gigantic and it's about the size of a pretty decent sized pumpkin. Uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of filament to print this out. And I'll go over the numbers on this real briefly. But now if there's all that, um, so let me go over the numbers. So uh, to print this guy out, ooh, uh, what I've done is I have two files. I have one with the eight segments and I have one with the rest. So the eight segment file, uh, with just all eight pumpkin parts, you know, everything around here, do, 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 do. Uh, that takes 7 hours and 37 minutes to print. It takes 0 0.066 6, uh, 6 .6 cents of electricity. It weighs 0 0.086 kilograms. And at $20 per kilogram, that comes out to $1.72 just for uh, the pumpkin segments. Uh, so in total, the pumpkin segments is $1.79. Now for all the other parts, the top, the screw, the bottom, uh, that takes about an hour and 56 minutes to print. It takes 1.9 cents of electricity. And it weighs 0 0.016 kilograms, which at $20 per kilogram, that comes up to 32 cents. And so that comes out to 34 cent totals for the other part. So in total, to print this guy out, is $2.13, you know, with those assumptions. Um, and it's pretty cool. I've been printing them out and giving them away. And I like it a lot. Now, uh, let's see. Ah, there you go. Ugh, I wrote down all the numbers for the big one. Now, the big one... If you want to do it, I think it's really cool, but you better plan your time out. So the big one uh, takes 129 hours to print in total. Ooh. 
and it costs thirty nine dollars and seventy nine cents. With between filament, electricity, electricity is the minor part. It costs thirty nine dollars and seventy nine cents. Now most of the parts on it aren't all that bad. So like, well, like a giant thread. I'll, I'll go over the numbers. A giant thread is a little bit over an hour. The stem, the giant stem, you know, that one takes seven hours just to do this one giant stem piece. Uh, but the real killer is pumpkin sections. So the pumpkin sections each take about 13, what do I have? 13, almost 14 hours to print. And each section costs about, in total, is about four, $4.25 to print. Now, I did find out, because I wanted to print them quicker, I, I bumped the speed up to about 130% because I wanted to get under that 12-hour period. And so I found that I could easily print two a day. So it takes four days just to print pumpkin segments. Um, but it's pretty cool. And so this is going to work for a nice decoration for Halloween, and it's going to stick around for Thanksgiving. Now I haven't done it. I don't. I might. I might not. I'm probably not going to do it this year. But I think because these lay how they print and they lay down, I think it's probably possible. Uh, and I haven't fully thought of the idea to do a jack o' lantern to do a part of a face to have a face spread over two, uh, like mirror image each other, and but so that there'd be a line there or something. But I think you can. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't had time to think about it. But I think you can do a jack o' lantern. But that's probably going to come. Uh, but anyway, really excited about this. If you think it's a cool download, go download it, print it out. I think it's going to really, ah, it's a cool giveaway. I've been printing a bunch of them and just handing them out to neighbors. And so far, they've, I've been back to people's house and they actually have them out. So um, it's a good sign. Anyway, uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this. This is a good one. Okay. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, Hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.